Hello guys, uh, welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. And on today's episode, I'll be discussing with you all the best management practices of oil palm plantation. Uh, these are actually the things you should do or put in place to actually, if you want to get the best out of your plantation. So having established your farm, you've, you've, you've ensured that you plant the best uh, variety, which is the Tenera hybrid. You ensured you, you, you put in place the best uh, spacing, which is 9 meter by 9 meter triangular. So what next is you managing your farm? From, the, from that moment till the moment uh, your, your trees start fruiting and even beyond. So on this video, I'll be telling you uh, different type of best management practices, things you, you should actually do to make sure your plantation be in the best uh, uh, shape and to get the best out of your plantation. So the number one thing to do having established your farm after the establishment of your farm is you should put in place uh, what I usually call a uh, wire gauzing and this is very important especially for people who are farming in a thick forest area whereby you don't have farms nearby and the place is very close to the forest and is very very bushy is a new a virgin uh, you are farming on a virgin land so the essence of this of doing this is because your palm tree they are still in the tender stage and grass cutter usually attack them and when they attack them they will heat up the stem and those trees will end up dying so in order to avoid this kind of problem after establishing your farm it is usually advisable that you put in place wire gauze. You put wire gauze around those uh, young seedlings so as for them to be to have a kind of protection against uh, all those kind of pests that will actually uh, eat them up. So that is the number one thing you should do. The number two thing you should also put in mind is the issue of weeding. At that stage, weeding, uh, allowing weed to take over your farm is the last thing you should you should allow to happen because if this happens, it will do a serious damage to your farm. So you put you you have a kind of routine to to do your weeding. I advise people to do weeding every two two months in a younger. Uh, uh, plantation when you actually set up your plantation and you do the general weeding and you do wing, uh, ring weeding you weed you make sure the you have a circle around each of the trees you make it very clean and you do general weeding for the other part so and in order to to reduce the cost in this kind of situation it is usually advisable that uh, farmers also uh, do what we call intercropping. You can actually intercrop uh, other crops, short, uh, so, uh, short time crop, uh, fast maturing crop such as okra, maize, cassava, melon, every many, many crops like that. Pepe, you plant it in between. Then that one also will help you to suppress the rate at which the weed will be coming up. Having said that, another thing, another management practice that is of high importance is the issue of fertilizer application. But this one is very, very subjective. You have to know the nutrient need, the nutrient lacking in your soil. Because actually the, the, the most popular fertilizer for, for oil palm is MPK, MGO. MPK MGO2. So this is the type of fertilizer commonly used by all plant farmer. But it is also advisable that you test your soil so as to for, for you to know the lacking nutrients in the soil. So you know the best fertilizer you will be applying. Having said that, so uh, pruning. 
Pruning is the removal of excess or dead branches. So and as we have it in oil palm, oil palm doesn't have branches. What oil palm have is fronts. We call them fronts. So and when you do pruning, it allow your it allow your tree to produce optimally. So that is one of the importance of pruning. And also it's it prevents the the introduction of uh, diseases and pests in some cases. So pruning, you don't do pruning until until after the third year of your tree production. So let's say, for example, you plant your tree this year. You don't prune until they start production. And even after they start production, you wait for like two to three years. After the third year, you can start pruning. Because at this time, if you start pruning, it will affect the rate at which the tree will be performing what you call photosynthesis. So at that time, it is very, very delicate. So you wait till the third year after your tree starts fruiting, then you can start pruning. So what pruning does is that it's, 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 a, it's a kind of motivating your, your tree to produce optimally. So that is that about uh, pruning. And last but not the least, uh, the issue of fire tracing. Fire tracing. Fire tracing is, is a preventive approach from uh, bushfire. So when you do fire tracing on your farm, you prevent the external fire coming into your own farm. It's a way of preventing uh, one's investment. So these are the best management practices uh, that are needed for your plantation to be safe and to produce optimally as you want. So I, and I hope you've actually got value from this video one way or the other. If you actually got value from this video, kindly give it a like and share with your friends. And if you are watching for the first time, my name is Lawa Olushola Lawa and I'm a great consultant. I'm a farmer by training. I'm a farmer by education. I'm a farmer by practice. And this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. So if you are watching for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button to have access to more of our videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time and see you on my next video.